So the last slide shows what the atmosphere of the Earth is as of today. But what was it like 4 billion years ago when the Earth was first formed? Well, initially the Earth was a ball of molten rock and there was no atmosphere at all around it. And then uh, what happened was volcanoes on the surface of the Earth, they released lots of carbon dioxide and water vapour into the air. So the atmosphere originally was lots of carbon dioxide and lots of water vapour. So what happened to all that water vapour and carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere? Well, as the Earth got cooler and cooler, the water vapour in the air turned from a gas into a liquid. It condensed and it fell to the Earth and formed oceans. Um, and then what happened to all that carbon dioxide? Well, the carbon dioxide, first of all, it dissolved into the oceans and then it got turned into the uh, shells of lots of marine animals, lots of sea animals and eventually also then that got compressed and turned into uh, sedimentary rock. Also, as plants have evolved, they began to photosynthesize, which means they took in carbon dioxide and released oxygen. So the carbon dioxide levels went down and the water vapour levels went down. So what's happened to the amount of oxygen? Well, the amount of oxygen has in fact gone up to about 21% as it is now. Um, how's that happened? Well, because plants were photosynthesizing, they were taking in carbon dioxide and they started releasing lots and lots of oxygen into the atmosphere. And the last gas we're going to talk about is nitrogen. And scientists don't quite know where all that nitrogen came from, but the theories go that it's been released by volcanoes, but we don't know when. We don't know if that was just at the beginning of the Earth's creation or if it happened at some point later on.